it's Andrea from the Black Pine Prospect Home. Today I'm going to show you how to roast a whole chicken in the oven. It's such a simple recipe and I have to give credit to Lisa over at Farmhouse on Boone. Um, I got this recipe from her. I've just tweaked it a little bit, um, sort of for our own taste. But her recipe is amazing, so you'll want to go check out hers as well. This is just such an easy go-to recipe for me. I usually make one, sometimes two whole chickens a week, and we do these for lunches. And so I'll roast the chicken um, the first day, for example, and then um, the following day we could have shredded barbecue chicken sandwiches or chicken tacos or nachos. Um, chicken salad is another favorite. So um, you guys know that I'm all about low budget and um, just budget friendly decor, but the same goes for my food. This chicken, uh, let's see, is $5.54. So for five bucks, this one chicken will feed our family of five for lunches for about three days. So that's a really great investment. So I'm gonna show you what we do and how I roast this. The first thing I'm gonna do is preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Just open up our chicken, and um, I like to do this in the sink so that all the juices sort of land in there. Um, one thing that I like to do too, like this morning, we probably came downstairs about 6.45 or 7 o'clock. So I try to get the chicken out. If I know I'm going to be making a chicken that day, I'll try to get it out early in the morning so that it can sort of come down to room temperature. Next, I just like to take out anything inside of the cavity. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get some paper towel and just pat this chicken off so it's nice and dry and ready for my seasonings. I have a nine by 13 um, glass dish here. So I'm just getting it all sort of dried off. Now I like to use coconut oil. You could also use olive oil if you'd like, but coconut is one of the healthiest. Second. So I like to use two tablespoons of coconut oil. So I'll just roughly sort of eyeball it. And in the summertime, when I'm making this, my coconut oil is already melted. But as soon as the weather starts to get a little bit cooler, I need to melt my coconut oil in the microwave. So one of the reasons I like to get my chicken out early in the morning is so that it's not so cold. That way when you put your coconut oil on the chicken, it doesn't harden up right away and the seasonings will stick to the oil. So first I love to use um, this Himalayan pink salt. It's delicious. Um, again, lots of health benefits to using Himalayan salt. So I'm just going to go all over the top of the chicken, probably about a teaspoon total. I'll do the same thing with this black pepper. Um, again, I just eyeball it, but it's probably, I probably use a half to a quarter of a teaspoon. Next, I like to use Italian seasoning, probably a half a teaspoon for each side. So we're gonna season the other side as well. Next is garlic powder. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon total, but we'll do about a half a teaspoon. Got some onion powder here. So make sure you get it all over the bird. And then what I like to use, and this makes it just a little bit different from Lisa's, is paprika. Now paprika doesn't change the, the flavor a whole lot. It does add like a smoky element, but I love using paprika, especially with like chicken and pork, just because it adds um, such beautiful color. So I will use like a half a teaspoon on this side, and then a half a teaspoon on the other side. All right, so now we're gonna flip our chicken over and season the other side as well.
All right, I just pulled my chicken out of the oven. It was in there a little over an hour. You just wanna make sure that the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees before you pull it out. You can see how beautiful and crispy the skin of this chicken is and how brown it got from that paprika that we used over the top. Um, so on day one, I just like to carve up the chicken just like this. My husband and I love to eat the breast meat. My boys love to eat the chicken legs. So I'll carve it up like this and then the rest of the chicken I will just shred and we'll use it for shredded chicken tacos or chicken salad, all kinds of things.